Hello, everyone, and welcome. This is Stephen Primo. Thanks for joining us today. Why don't we begin? Uh, I hope you can hear me coming through loud and clear. I have a lot of great information, once again, to give you on our monthly webinar, and I just want to make sure that you're hearing me okay. Uh, welcome again. This is a specialist trading presentation. Uh, thank you to all the people at FX Street, and thank you to all of you for joining us today. For those of you who are unfamiliar with specialist trading, we are an educational company. We provide you with the insights, wisdom, and most especially the trading strategies from the floor, everything I gain from the floor, so that you can really learn and uh, hope to elevate your trading. Now, just to give you a little bit of background about myself, I have been actively trading the markets for the past 35 years. I started out on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange, hence that's why we say strategies from the floor. I was actually on the floor for a total of 16 years, and I was a specialist for DLJ, Donaldson, Lufkin, and Genrette for nine years. Uh, I traded through a, a tremendous amount of different environments, different market conditions, crashes, and big bull markets. But I left the floor in the mid-90s to actually trade my own account and to manage uh, other accounts as well. I've continued to trade as well. I have gotten really heavily into teaching in probably the past three or four years. I was director of education for a number of sites. But most recently, I formulated, with the help of uh, some other uh, people behind me, specialist trading. And specialist trading really just deals with my own way of trading, my own thoughts, and my own methodology. So I'm not really teaching anyone else's systems or, or trading methods. I'm just focusing on, as you see right here, everything I learned from the floor and everything I continue to use to this day. Now, I know a lot of people will say, well, Steve, your background is in stocks. You know, this is a Forex class, a Forex presentation. Uh, does it transfer over easily? And, and as I always tell uh, my students and members in these webinars, is that actually what I learned on the floor transfers over the best onto the Forex markets because the Forex markets, in my opinion, are some of the best trendy markets available, regardless if you're trading intraday or if you're trading daily or even weekly bars. And most of my methods are for trend following. They're for being in sync with the market. We don't really want to fight the market. We just want to go along with it. Most people uh, like to trade that way, but they have a little trouble in finding what the sync is of the market, or what the market is actually doing. So today I'm going to share with you uh, part two of one of my best techniques for actually finding the direction and finding which way the market is moving. And that's, and that's the title of today's presentation, New and Simple Ways to Use Candlesticks, part two. We're going to show you a really great uh, pattern recognition uh, method here so that you can really find the direction with this simple, simple pattern. And you can start using this as early as today if you like, but I, I just recommend that you research a little bit, but paper trade it and see how well this can actually help as a directional tool. All right, so we're gonna, this is part two. We, we gave part one uh, roughly, I believe, a couple of months ago, but I'm gonna give you a little review before we go into it. But before we start, as always, I ask that you please take a moment to view our disclaimer. I'm gonna show you performance results with this candlestick pattern, but please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of these results will be repeated in the future. So as you're taking a moment to view our disclaimer, once again, for those of you who have attended my webinars in the past, you know that I love to take questions, but I like to take questions at the end of the presentation. It seems to move a lot smoother, and we seem to have a better flow to the webinar. So I promise I'll get to each and every one of your questions, but just wait till the end. Uh, a lot of uh, members like to write down their questions so that they don't forget and then we just wait for the last 10 or 15 minutes, okay? So, so please, I know a lot of you may ask something, uh, or people coming in late may want to ask something, but I, I really will not answer anything until the very end. So just write it down. I promise I'll get to each and every one. If we happen to run out of time or you happen to forget, don't worry. I'll give you an email address as well as a phone number where you can call us and ask us any question you have, okay? All right. Now, my goal is to teach you how to trade with the specialist edge. And the reason why I say specialist edge is when I was on the floor, I struggled, and I've made no secret about it. I talk about this in my webinars. I struggled a lot for many years. I just couldn't get going. I would have, you know, great months followed by disastrous months. So I didn't have anything to show for my trading. And I know a lot of you are probably going through the exact same thing. You have some great you know, trades, and you think you've got it all together, and then you have one or two losers, which literally wipe everything out, and then you, you're, you're starting right at the bottom again. So it's very frustrating. And there were a few elite traders on the floor that were able to turn my way of trading around because they shared with me this specialist edge. And I thought the edge was in the, the, the highest, uh, you know, uh, strategy that you could find or the uh, best indicators or access to privileged information. And really, the edge isn't about that. The edge is, is those are things that, sure, you need to know and, and kind of have a, a, a slight awareness of. But the edge is really rooted in simplicity 
and it's really learning how to listen to the market and really more about stripping away the things we've been taught that are important and really simplifying your trading plan, keeping it as simple as possible. Now, we teach strategies and uh, uh, methodologies to people all over the world. We have over 30 countries that are using our strategies and this specialist edge. And so this is my goal to give you a, a short uh, sample of what we actually do with specialist trading. <clears throat> now, before we begin, if you'd like to get any more information uh, about specialist trading, once again, uh, FX Street has been so gracious to provide us with a microsite. Here's the link. Now, the only problem is the link, as you can see, is, is, is a little bit lengthy. Uh, so we've kind of shortened it down and uh, really uh, abbreviate it to this right here. So if you want to copy down this link right here in gold, you can actually get uh, an idea of what we do with specialist trading. So if you have any questions regarding our company, you can simply copy down this link if you haven't already. Don't worry, I'll give it to you later on in the presentation. And that will take you to the microsite here that FX Street has for us on their website. This gives you a lot more information about our self-study strategies. Uh, you can also give more, get more information about myself and if you click on right here where it says course descriptions, you'll see it gives you a lot more information about all the individual courses we offer, okay? So any questions regarding specialist trading, simply go to the microsite that FX Street has provided for us. All right, so here's what you're going to learn today. We're going to give you the second edge in our two-part series. This is edge number two. We call this the bull, bull, bear, bear pattern. And I'm going to go into detail explaining exactly what it is. So by the end of today's webinar, you'll know exactly how to spot it. And when you do spot it, you know exactly what to expect from the market. It's a very high probability trading pattern. Remember, it's not guaranteed. Nothing is guaranteed, but this will really enhance your trading in our opinion. And then I'll show you some examples, some past examples of how this worked extremely well. Okay? But before we start, I know a lot of you are, are coming into this presentation and saying, well, I missed uh, part one. <laughs> so let's review part one. And even if you were in our webinar where we went over part one, let's give a really quick review of what we covered there, just so it'll uh, give you an insight as to, uh, you know, the beginnings of part two. Now, everything we talked about and everything we're going to be talking about today is built off of a candlestick pattern. I know a lot of Forex traders love to use candlestick patterns. I think probably more than any other market around, uh, Forex traders really love candlestick patterns, the way they can give them an insight into the market. So we're going to talk about a specific pattern that uh, is incorporated in today's lesson. And that pattern is the engulfing pattern. Now, you can either have a bullish engulfing pattern, as we see here. And just to clarify, when we say in bullish engulfing, for those of you who may be unaware of what this is, we're just looking at a two-bar pattern here. Now, this is a downward day. In other words, the market or the, the uh, whatever we're looking at, the currency pair, opened here and then closed here. That's why we have this dark body. But the next day, we opened down here and then closed higher. So the range from open to close totally engulfed yesterday's range or the previous day's range from open to close. So that's all we're concerned about, engulfing the previous day's open to close range or the body of the day. We're not concerned with engulfing the absolute high range and the absolute low range. We don't care about that. We're only interested in that we engulf the prior days. If we have a up day that engulfs a downward day, well, that's a high probability that we're going to be going up. All right? Now, just the opposite side of the coin, this is a bearish engulfing pattern where we have a open to close lower, so a dark body that totally engulfs the open to close of the previous days, but the previous days was an up day. And we're only concerned, once again, about engulfing the body. We're not concerned about this day engulfing the high and the low, the range. We don't care about that. I know some other traders like to look at that total engulfment, and that's okay, but you won't see a lot of those all the time. So we're only concerned about engulfing the previous day's body. Today's body, engulfing the previous day's body. And this is a bearish engulfing pattern because most likely the trend will continue lower. Now, the reason why we really uh, use this as a strong edge in a lot of our strategies, and especially in today's presentation, is because there is a high probability that this trend will continue in the direction of the engulfing bar for the next two to five bars. So this is a tremendous edge. You know, we talked about the specialist edge. This is, you know, not an indicator. This is not some news. This is not a trading room or chat room. This is something that the market tells you in a two-bar pattern that there's a very high probability the trend is going to continue in the direction of the gulping bar for the next two to five bars. This is a tremendous edge. Now, if you're looking at a weekly bar, this could be for the next two to five weeks. If you're looking at a five-minute bar, it could be for the next 10 to uh, 20 minutes. But it, it, it's, it's all relative to what time frame you're looking at. Now, here's an example here. The British pound and older chart we see here, the starting, looking back in hindsight, 
we have a bullish engulfing pattern. This body totally engulfed the previous day. And look at the next three bars or so went up, all right? But then we get to a bearish engulfing where the dark body engulfs the upward white body, and then we have two days down. We come here where we have two instances of, of bullish engulfing patterns circled in green here, and then the direction goes up, and so on. You see that happen in any direction and in any time frame. Now, we want to go to a smaller time frame. Here's a hourly chart, a 60-minute chart. And we have a bearish engulfing pattern right here, and look what happens. The next three bars are lower, accompanied by two bullish engulfing patterns circled in green. The trend continues higher until we get to this bearish engulfing pattern, and the trend continues lower. So you'll see this. It's not guaranteed. It's not going to work 100% of the time, so I don't want you to go from that mindset right off the bat. But just be aware that this is a great edge that can really be used as a really strong directional tool. All right, so that's the way we define and, and pretty much cover engulfing patterns. These are the standard bullish and bearish engulfing patterns. Let's take it up a notch to our first edge, which we covered in part one. This is engulfing pattern plus one. All right, so we're just reviewing here. Engulfing pattern plus one. So what exactly is that? Well, here's your standard bullish engulfing pattern. All right, the bullish day engulfs the bearish day. Plus one just means that we also engulf another day. So we've engulfed not only the previous bar, but plus one more bar, okay? Now this can be plus one, plus two, three, four, five, ten. It doesn't matter, but as long as we're engulfing more than one bar or more than the previous bar, there's an even stronger probability that we're going to continue in this upward direction. Now here's something that I want to focus on is that we do not care which direction this plus one bar is. So where we engulf the lower body here, the plus one, it doesn't matter if it's an up bar or, an, or a down day. It does not matter. All that matters is that we're engulfing another open to close range, regardless of which direction. Because if we have a bullish engulfing plus one, there's an extremely high probability that we're going to continue even further in that direction. All right? Same works with the bearish engulfing pattern plus one. We have a bearish engulfing pattern. We have a downward day from open to close engulfing an upward day plus one. We engulf one more open to close range. Once again, it does not matter if this was an up day or a down day. In this example, it's an up day, but it could just as easily be a down day. It does not matter. It just means that we're engulfing two open to close ranges, an engulfing pattern plus one. Why do we look for that? Because there's extreme high probability that we're going to go even more in the direction of the engulfing bar. All right, so let's look at some past examples using this engulfing pattern plus one. We see here in the Australian dollar, we have a bullish engulfing pattern plus one. We engulfed the previous day plus one, and after that, it was off to the races, up to 900 pips. Another daily chart of the euro dollar, we start out looking here. We have a bearish engulfing pattern plus one, and the trend changed lower, down 300 pips in the trend. But then we're thinking, well, you know, this is a pretty nice move, but look what happens. The market is giving us more signals. Once again, this is the edge we're talking about, how the market tells you everything. Not an outside source, but all you need to know is what the market is telling you. We have another sign here that the market is giving us. We have another bearish engulfing pattern plus one and another bearish engulfing pattern plus one. So the market is telling us that don't get ready to cover yet or don't get ready to go long because most likely the direction is still lower. And look what happens. It's continued to go lower. We look at a weekly chart because this transfers over into any time frame, any direction. We have a bullish engulfing pattern plus one, two, three. Very strong on a weekly chart, went up 800 pips in the next couple of months. Another weekly chart of the Canadian dollar, we start out with a bearish engulfing pattern plus one, telling us we have a downward move. So at this point, we'd probably say, well, you know, 1,000 pips, it looks like we're probably going to stop here. We have another bearish engulfing pattern plus one, and there's more room to the downside. Remember, this is best used as a directional tool. We haven't told you how to put it together in a strategy, but do you see how it's really giving you a great insight into the direction of the market? One of the things my mentors taught me was that the market is always giving you clues as to which direction it wants to go in, either a weekly chart, a daily chart, a five-minute chart. It doesn't matter. The market is your best source for information. Once again, not the news, not an indicator, not even a strategy but the market itself. The only trouble is that most people do not know how to listen or read the market. They're trying to impose their own ideas onto the market, and this is where it gets confusing. 
And this is where you ultimately lose money. I know this is the way I did. I would always say to myself, well, the market has gone too high. It's way overbought. I'm going to short it because I was, you know, using my own, putting my own uh, idea of what I thought the market should do. Or I thought the market was too low. It's tremendously oversold. I'm going to buy it. So I'd go long and uh, it would continue to go in lower. You see, I was listening to myself, my own ideas, rather than listening to the market. So it's much easier. And you have a lot better uh, sleepful nights if you just listen to the market and go in sync with it rather than trying to fight it. Here's a monthly chart, okay? Just an example to show you how this uh, first pattern goes on to any time frame, any direction. We have a bullish engulfing pattern plus one, and followed by more bullish engulfing patterns plus two, plus one, plus two, and so on. The whole time at these points here on a monthly time frame, the euro yen was telling you I'm going much higher. So just come on board with me. Don't fight it. Don't try to you know sell short. Don't listen to any news. Don't get involved in some trading guru telling you what to do. Just listen to me and, and go in sync with me. The easiest thing in the world and a lot cheaper too. Here's a monthly chart of the Australian dollar. Once again, bullish engulfing pattern plus one, plus one, bullish engulfing pattern plus one. And guess what? At this point right here, we had a change. We had a bearish engulfing pattern plus one. So this was giving you a clue that maybe we're going to change on a monthly time frame this nice upward move here. So remember, this is not a strategy, just a great directional tool. So at this point, let's say you had been long, you may want to move your stops up. You may want to, you know, just be very careful. If you're thinking about going long more the Australian dollar, you may want to curb your, your enthusiasm a little bit and sit to the side and say, you know what, I'm going to sit back and watch. And it would have been the best thing to do, listen to the market, because that's what happened. We fell out of bed. Once again, at the top, no trading guru, no news, uh, no indicators were giving you this, but the market was telling you. Most likely, we're going to have a trend change. All right, so that's a recap of our first uh, our first uh, uh, webinar that we had a month or two ago. That was edge number one. That was a bullish or bearish engulfing pattern plus one. Remember, if you have any questions, save them until the end, and then we'll go over them at the end. This was just a directional tool. I know a lot, well, probably the biggest thing my, most, uh, my, my students make mostly is like, well, Steve, where do I get long or where do I go short? This is not a strategy. It's a directional tool, something telling you a high probability of what the direction is going to be on a very, uh, very strong basis, okay? So remember, we're only looking for, uh, you know, these insights to give us a, uh, you know, some type of feel of what the direction is going to be. And it's the same with the second edge, which is the bull, bull, bear, bear pattern, still built off of candlesticks, as we discussed earlier today. This is, once again, a directional tool. It's not a strategy. It's not a system. It's simply a great tool to get you in sync with what the market's doing, okay? All right, so let's go over now edge number two. This is part two of our series. All right, once again, we talked about engulfing patterns. This is basically what all of this is, is uh, you know, formatted off of, a, an engulfing pattern, this particular uh, method, methodology here, or technique. So this is our standard engulfing pattern here. We have an upward day, totally engulfing, the downward day. That's your standard bullish engulfing pattern, all right? So what we're looking for in this particular pattern is a bull-bull pattern, meaning that we engulfed an upward day. So we're only looking to engulf the previous day, but if we're in uh, opposition to the standard pattern where we're looking to engulf a downward day. We're engulfing an upward day as well. This is an extremely high probability that the market will condition, will, I'm sorry, will continue in the same direction as the engulfing bar for a much longer time. All right, so we're, let me just go back the way we did earlier. Here we are. This is our standard bullish engulfing pattern, all right? So we engulfed the standard downward day. So that would most likely be an upward type of move. But what we're looking for is instead of engulfing a down day, we want to also have an up day engulf another up day, hence the name bull bull, all right? If you find a pattern like this, regardless of what time frame, you're going to have a high probability that the market is telling you we're going to continue in this direction, okay, for a longer staying period of time. The same thing works on the downward side, all right? Now, we have our standard bearish engulfing, where we have a downward day from open to close, and we're totally engulfing the open to close range of the upward day, the previous day's upward day. Now, this by itself 
is a pretty good edge here. For the next two to five bars, the edge is saying that there's a high probability we'll head lower. But if you have a bear bear pattern where you have a downward day engulfing another downward day, meaning that the open to close was down, you have an even higher probability that the trend is going to continue that way. Okay? So once again, going back, this is our standard way to look at a bearish engulfing pattern. Now we're looking for this. We're looking for a bear bear pattern, meaning a downward day engulfs a downward day. And this is uh, just to reiterate, we're not interested in engulfing the entire range from top to bottom. You know, someone would say, but we didn't engulf the, the whole range. We're not concerned with that. We're only concerned with engulfing from open to close. That's it. And same thing with the bull bull pattern. We're only interested in engulfing from open to close. And we're only interested in the engulfing bar body from open to close. Okay? If you find a bear bear pattern, there's an extremely high pro probability that we're going to continue for a more intense uh, downward move when you see this. Here's the one caveat about these patterns. You don't see them a lot. They're very difficult to find. Even though I will show you a couple of examples from the past, uh, from this past couple of months uh, here, there's just not a lot of them to go around. But when you do find them, once you begin to study this, or, or I would hope you, after you, you, you uh, leave this presentation today, you'll go back and research going back a couple of months and see if you can spot them, you'll see how, how uh, you know, uh, how much of an edge they really are, okay? All right, so let's look at some bull, bull, bear, bear examples. This is a part two in our series of patterns that are directional tools specifically built off of candlesticks. And when we take candlesticks, specifically built off of the uh, engulfing patterns. All right, here's a weekly chart of the British pound. As we see here, we had a rather nice sell-off, but then looking down here, what do we find? We have a bull, bull pattern. Okay, a open, open uh, uh, to close day engulfed uh, the entire range of the open to close the previous bar, and they were both upward moves, upward days. All right, once again, we're not concerned about engulfing from top to bottom, only the open to close range. So this was giving us a clue on a weekly chart that most likely this downward move was over. The market was telling us most likely the downward move is over, and if you're short, you may want to consider covering or there may, because there may be an upward change in trend. And then look what happened. In the next couple of months, the British pound went up about 1,000 pips. Not because we were concerned about the news, not we were concerned about what's going on in the world or interest rates or what we might be doing, someone may say in some chat room, only because we were listening to what the market was telling us. All right? That's the specialist edge. How about a weekly chart of the Australian dollar? Okay. We kind of were having a sideways market here. And then we had this bear bear pattern. Now, even though this looks like it's a doji or kind of like uh, flat, it opened and closed at the same, it really was, if we magnified it, it was really was a small downward move here on a weekly chart. So we had a downward bar engulfing another downward bar on a weekly chart of the Australian dollar. And as you can see, once again, the Australian dollar on a weekly basis, we've given us clues that it's most likely going to be heading lower. Let's look at a 60-minute chart of the dollar yen. Now, here we have a really interesting chart. We have a bull-bull pattern, and if you even wanted to go and combine both of the patterns, you could have a bull-bull plus one, two, three, four, So because we also engulfed the bodies of roughly four other. So you have really a uh, confluence of two different techniques here telling you that there's an extremely high probability that on a 60-minute time frame, the dollar yen is going to be moving higher. As you can see, it did. Now, even though it's all relative, we only went up roughly 80 pips, it's still relative. I mean, that's a nice move if you had, uh, you know, more than one lot and you were just, you know, trying to make a quick trade. That's a, it was a really nice uh, way to find out the direction. How about a monthly chart? Once again, the Australian dollar. We see here we start out with a bear bear pattern, okay, and we immediately went down 400 pips. And guess what? Here's another bear bear pattern. Remember how we said how the market is continually giving you clues as a direction. Many times you'll 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 get your you know, your own opinion in the way, and you'll say, boy, we've got now 400 pips. I think we've come down low enough. You know, this chat room I was in, we're saying that uh, the, the Australian dollar is way too oversold, and that uh, some of the guys I was watching on TV says that uh, we should have a nice bounce here. So I think I'll jump in and go long, all right? Once again, this is because we're listening to outside sources. Probably 99.9% .9 of traders trade this way. They rely too much on out outside or outward sources. You must be relying, if you're using the specialist edge, on inward sources, meaning the, the market. 
just listen to what the market's telling us. And at this point right here, the market was saying, nope, there's a high probability I'm going lower because I'm giving you another bear bear pattern. And it did. So had you tried to pick a bottom, which once again is the way most traders trade, the way I used to trade, <laughs> to be honest with you, uh, you would have been left holding the bag. So much easier, much simpler. Remember to keep your trading as simple as possible just to listen to the market. A monthly chart in the British pound. Kind of going sideways to lower here, and then we have a really nice bull bull pattern. 1,200 pips in the next two or three months. How about a daily chart of the euro yen? Now, once again, you'll see these from time to time. They look or they appear to be dojis or where they open and close at the same, but many times, just because of the chart and because of the time frame you're looking at, you'll see that it was actually either an upper or downward day. If you kind of magnify it or, or you know, scroll your, your chart a little bit and, uh, you know, resize it, you'll see that we had a downward day here or a downward day in the euro yen, and it was engulfed by another downward day. So we had a bear bear pattern telling us that, well, this, this upward trend here is most likely finished, or we should just be careful. And then look what happened. Here's a quick 400 pips to the downside. Once again, you're not going to see a lot of these. I'm not telling you that they're all over the place. I know probably a lot of you are probably looking for these right now. Uh, so it's, it's, it's not something where you're going to be seen, and every five minutes there's another one. This is something that we have to kind of go back and look, but they're great directional tools. And as, if you can see right here, we had another – bearish engulfing pattern plus one right here. We engulfed this previous, so there were a lot of, you know, with these two tools I've given you today, you could see signs right here where it was telling you we're going to be going lower. All right, here's a weekly chart, the Canadian dollar. All right, it's Canadian dollar right now, we're heading lower. So one would say, well, uh, maybe we should look to go long. We're kind of sold off here. I think we're kind of getting to some bottom range, but not really. What do we have? We have a bearish engulfing pattern plus one or two, actually. So this is actually a confluence, once again, telling us we're going lower. Once again, we're listening to the market, not to ourselves or to our own egos or opinions. We're just letting the market tell us what to do. And it was 1,500 more pips to the downside. Now, I wanted to show you also in an Australian dollar, a weekly chart here. This is something that is very uh, uh, pertinent because this is a chart that was uh, uh, taken up until, I believe, uh, yesterday. Uh, this is a weekly chart of the Australian dollar. Now, we had a really nice run-up. As you can see here, we had a bull-bull pattern right here at the beginning of the year on a weekly chart. All right, so uh, we roughly had a really nice move after that, about 500 pips. Now, getting to this point up here, we had some, some difference. Uh, you know, so we had some, some consolidation, and then we started to head lower after that nice move. But guess what? In the last couple of weeks, we've had one more bull bull pattern. Now, if we see here what we followed, the very, which is this past week or so, we haven't continued in the direction. So this is, once again, we're just showing you not to cherry pick the best examples and not to show you that this happens all the time, that they, the minute you see one of these, it's a 100% guaranteed. But we still don't know what's going to happen yet because it's still a little bit too early. We could continue and finish this week with a really nice upward move. We don't know. Or we could maybe go down a little bit further and then have a really strong upward move. So it's something to watch. This is a great example here on a weekly chart of the Australian dollar, which just a few weeks ago we had a really strong bull-bull pattern. Okay? So this can always change. Things can happen. We could get another week or so from now. We could get another chart and then another bull-bull pattern or possibly a bear-bear pattern. We don't know. So this is something you may want to watch and just you know, have so you can uh, experiment and see how this works. All right, points to remember as we get towards the end here. This is extremely important, and I can't say this enough. These are not strategies. This is the biggest mistake most of my students make when they, they come up to decide to become members of specialist trading. They see these, and their eyes lie wide open, and then they'll start to find them from time to time. And they go, boy, a bull bull, I'm going to go long, or a uh, bearish engulfing pattern plus three, I'm going to go short. They're great uh, uh, tools, but remember that both patterns are best used as momentum or directional tools. So if you want to see if there's still momentum left in the move or if there's a direction change, this is what you use these for. Then once you see or you have this kind of confirmation, then you have to apply some structure. Then you have to have a strategy, regardless what type of strategy it's based off of. It could be something you're trading already or it could be something uh, from specialist trading. But if the market is giving you a bull-bull pattern, then you only want to be thinking about, you know, applying some type of long strategy, all right? So you should be getting ready to apply some type of long structure to go to go long the market. If it's giving you a bearish engulfing pattern plus three, 
You don't want to go long. You don't want to say, well, I have a buy strategy. You got to work perfect. No, you, it's giving you a clue to start applying some type of structure to go short. Okay? So these are great kind of setups to apply structure to, to apply a strategy to. Uh, also, engulfing patterns plus one. This is what we recapped and what we went over in the first part of the series. They're more prevalent than bull, bull, bear, bear patterns. You're going to see a lot more. As I was researching and looking for a lot of uh, bull, bull, bear, bear patterns this week, I really couldn't find a lot except that one I found in the weekly chart. But the, the engulfing patterns plus one are all over the place, regardless of what time frame. I found hundreds of them on 10-minute charts, on tick charts, and on weekly charts. I mean, they're all over the place, and they're very great tools. They're very great indicators for telling you momentum and direction. So you're going to see a lot more engulfing patterns plus one as opposed to bull, bull, bear, bear patterns. But when you do see a bull, bull, bear, bear, I mean, really pay close attention, as we did with that weekly chart with the Australian dollar. Also, uh, another thing that students get confused of is that, you know, they'll say, well, Steve, I saw a engulfing pattern plus five. Is that okay? Yes. I mean, that is even, even giving you a little bit more confirmation that it may be of a stronger move. So all you need is a minimum of plus one. Uh, if you have plus ten, which I have seen before, that's fine. All right, so you can have a bullish engulfing pattern plus two. You can have a bullish engulfing pattern plus ten or vice versa. It doesn't really matter. The more you see that you engulf, I think it's the better, but we don't really have any statistical research to back that up. But just off site for what I've been using these tools for years, uh, it does seem to, to help. Remember, you can apply this to any time frame in any direction. It doesn't matter if it's only going good for going long or going short. You see these in any, in any direction in any time frame. All right. One of the things, you'll see a lot more bull, bull, bear, bear patterns, the ones we went over today, in uh, time frames that are a little bit larger, such as weekly and monthly bars. So they may be better used as longer-term directional or momentum tools, okay? But with the engulfing patterns plus one or plus five or ten, you'll see those in any time frame, okay? So you can apply them to any time frame in any direction. So let's recap. We gave you the first edge. We actually just recapped the first edge, which was done in our first presentation. That's engulfing pattern plus one. Remember, just based off of your basic standard bullish or bearish engulfing pattern. All right? And remember, when you engulf the pattern, the plus one, it doesn't matter if it's an up day or a down day. All that you're concerned about is that the plus engulfing pattern, uh, or I should say the, the plus bar, uh, is just engulfed from open to close, the, the open to close range. We're not concerned with the entire range. And then what we went over today, the bull, bull, bear, bear. It's a great, great momentum or directional tool. But remember, you'll see these on a lot of larger time frames, weekly and monthly time frames. We showed you a great example in the Australian dollar. So I invite you to follow along and watch those just to see if anything comes up with the uh, weekly Australian dollar. Okay. Then we showed you a lot of examples. So you get a good feel for how these look and how they work. Now, as I continue to stress, these are just directional or momentum tools. They're not strategies. As, as I said at the beginning of, of the presentation today, what our goal is at Specialist Trading is to teach you how to trade with the specialist edge. You know, the edge is rooted in simplicity. And I've shared with you the insights and wisdom. And as a, you know, as a follow-up here, I also want to share with you some of our strategies should you decide to become a member of Specialist Trading. So just for a few seconds, I want to talk about our Forex Swing Trader Strategy Number 5 course because that's built – on engulfing candlesticks. It incorporates what we talked about today, all right, the engulfing, engulfing bars. Now, this has produced 150% in less than two years. Now, we give you detailed instruction, provide you with 10 online videos. Now, I go into the structure, whereas today I just showed the momentum and directional tools. I actually talk about where to enter, where to exit, where to place your stops. And we give you different variables and conservative and aggressive approaches for each one. So regardless of how you want to trade it, we'll show you where to enter, where to place your exit, and where to place your stop. We also provide you with one-year trade signal alerts. So we'll email you and show you when there is a setup. All right, we got a really nice setup the other day and uh, a couple of the trades, and they worked out nicely. So we're going to share with you uh, the information. But remember, we're teaching you how to spot these on your own. So use these trade signals more as a confirmation that you're in sync and that you're spotting them correctly. We also provide you with one-year weekly trading lessons. These are weekly videos that I provide all of our members with where we go over tips and techniques to enhance your trading to bring you up to the next level. Everything is provided for you on a PDF. If you'd like, you can print it out and study at your own pace. 
And then you have my personal email access. So you can contact me whenever you'd like. Once you become a Strategy 5 course member, if you have a question, something doesn't make sense, you can email me and uh, you will get the information to you as soon as possible. Now, this Swing Trader course with the engulfing candlestick patterns usually runs for $5.95, but for the FX Beat price with all the attendees today, we're dropping that down to $3.45. It's for a limited time only. Okay, so we kind of gave you a little clue, a little hint to how it works or what we're looking for, but you need the structure. You need to know where to enter. You need to know where to place your stop and where to exit, regardless if you want to trade conservatively or aggressively, and all of that is supplied in our strategy number five course. Remember, 150% in less than two years with all the signals we provided for our members. Once again, if you're interested in getting more information about uh, specialist trading or any of our strategies, here are the links. Here's the abbreviated link right here, which we showed you earlier in the presentation, bit.ly slash 06MGV0. All right, and that will take you to the microsite on FX Street, and you can get more information on our course descriptions, myself, anything on our strategies and our sister site, protraderstrategies.com. All right, we have about uh, 20 minutes or so for questions. Remember, if you want to just purchase the uh, strategy, you can go to protraderstrategies.com. That's our sister site that handles all of our individual strategies. Or you can contact our VP of Research. That's Brett Marsh, Brett M at specialisttrading.com. You can also call us directly at 310-844-7220. All right, I see a couple of you may have asked questions during the presentations. Let me see where we can go here. Uh, Abel is asking, plus one means it is a three-bar pattern, isn't it? Not that each bar engulfs the previous. Yeah, well, basically, yes. In other words, if you're looking at a standard engulfing pattern, that's a two-bar pattern, okay? A bullish engulfing pattern, a bullish bar engulfs a downward bearish bar. That's your standard engulfing pattern, which means you need two bars. A plus one would be your third bar. So, yes, it, it, it's a three-bar pattern, a minimum of a three-bar pattern. Remember, you can have a plus five, a plus ten, but you must have a minimum of three bars to have this pattern, okay? And the same thing works a, a bearish engulfing plus one. Now you have a downward day uh, that engulfs the previous day's upward move, okay, from open to close. So that's a bearish, your standard bearish engulfing pattern. So it's two bars. Plus one would mean one more uh, bar that you're engulfing. And remember that plus one, that third bar, that previous bar, does not matter which direction it's going. We're only concerned with the direction of the engulfing two bars, but the previous one, the third bar in the pattern, does not matter which direction. It's either up or down day does not matter. Okay, I hope that answers your question. Uh, Vishal asks, Steve, would we be looking at some live charts during the session? No, we're not. I don't have the capability now to have the live charts running. I'm only showing you static charts of examples I've given you because remember, as I stated in the beginning of this presentation, specialist trading is an educational company. And I really show you these illustrations just so that you can understand them. I'm not trying to cherry pick anything for you so that you think that it works 100% of the time. I've stated repeatedly throughout this presentation that it does not work 100% of the time. It's just a great, great tool. So I want to make sure you know how to spot this tool because this is something, information I'm giving you for free. So in order to do that, I have to have the slides where you can see the best examples. So when this happens. Now I showed you the last slide, which is the Australian dollar, which hasn't panned out as of yet. Now, it may work, it may not, but it's something for you to follow along. So I like to show illustrations in PowerPoint form during my classes so that you know how to spot them because, once again, we are an educational company. We're trying to educate you so that you can spot these things for yourself. And the best way for me to do that is to have the slides right there for you, okay? Holly asks, also, uh, there are many higher time frames. What do these patterns look like on lower time frames? In other words, uh, one hour to make all these pips. Uh, well, I showed you a couple of examples with one hour. Uh, uh, just to, you know, this is something you can do. I would suggest go to a 15 minute or even a 1,000 tick bar chart, and you're going to see tons and tons in the different foreign currency pairs of bullish or bearish engulfing patterns plus one, plus five. You're going to see a lot of them. Okay, so uh, you're just not going to see a lot of bear bear. They, as I, I stated earlier, you're going to see most of the bear bear or bull bull patterns in larger time frames, such as weekly and monthly, right? You will see them in daily from time to time, and uh, I have seen those in the past, but I wanted to show you things that, you know, where I wasn't going back five or ten years. I wanted to show you things that were in the last six months or so, okay? Um, but Harley says, but can't stay in the trade that long without giving back money. Remember, when you say can't stay in the trade that long, 
These are not trades. These are just directional tools. It's just I'm showing you the direction. It's up to your strategy to tell you how long you're going to stay in the trade. It's up to you know you know it's up to you to say well uh, my strategy says I get out here my strategy and that's what we provide with our strategy. That's what strategy number five does as I showed you. These tools are not telling you where to get in and get out. Uh, as I said from the very beginning, this is the biggest mistake my students make. They think it's a strategy or a system. It's not. It's a directional tool. All right. The directional tools don't tell you where to exit. They don't even tell you where to enter or where to place a stop. But strategies do. So we have at Specialist Trading upwards of seven strategies for trading the forex markets, where each one is different, and each one tells you different entry points, different exit points. And the, the, what I just to, to retract back here, uh, this is what we we're talking about with this particular strategy. It's based off engulfing candlesticks, which we went over today, and we give you all the entries, exits, and stops, either in conservative or in aggressive form. Remember, if you want more information about any of our strategies, go to this shortened link we have here. Okay? And this will take you to the FX Street microsite we have, and which we have here, which will give you much more information about what we provide for you. But if you want to talk to someone live, I would suggest calling our VP of Research, Brett Marsh, and you can call him at 310-844-7220. All right, if there are no other questions, I guess that will bring us to the end of today's presentation. Remember, we covered two things today. I kind of recapped what I had gone over before, but I had a lot of uh, emails from people saying, well, well, when are we talking about part two? And I'm sorry, I kind of skipped it over. Um, uh, I was out of town, out of the country, and when I came back, I had lost my place in terms of presentations. But don't worry, I always uh, get the emails and I always respond, so I wanted to cover this part. So uh, if there are no other questions, remember, you can always email us or you can always call us directly at the information provided right here. Uh, just once again, write down whatever you may have and you can always get back to us later on if there's no questions right now. The main thing I want to leave you with right now when, when uh, leaving is that the edge that was taught to me when I was struggling, because I know how you feel if you're struggling with your trading, was just to keep things as simple as possible. Too many traders like to complicate their trading. So as you can see here how simple this was. And this is a great, simple directional tool. Everything we have as specialist trading is just as simple. Most of our strategies have no more than four or five rules to them top. This includes entries, exits, and stop placements. So really try and focus on keeping things simple, and I hope that will lead you to a much more profitable, much uh, more uh, easier way to trade. Thank you so much for joining us today. We'll see you next month with a different uh, educational webinar in Best of Luck Trading, and we'll see you again. Bye-bye.